Mjolnir was a powerful enchanted war hammer forged by the dwarves for the Asgardian royal family. The hammer was destroyed by Hela during the confrontation between her, Thor and Loki in Thor Ragnarok. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Mjolnir is unable to be moved unless an individual is deemed worthy by the hammer. Peter Benjamin Parker is a high school student who gained spider-like abilities, fighting crime across New York City as the alter ego Spider-Man, hoping someday he will live up to his heroes in the Avengers. While Peter Parker juggled all his continued superhero duties with the demands of his high school life, he was approached by Tony Stark who recruited Spider-Man to join the Avengers Civil War, putting Spider-Man into the brief conflict with his personal hero, Captain America. Parker then agreed and was given his new suit as well as brand new Stark technology in exchange for all his help. Although Stark did not make him an official member of the Avengers, Parker returned back home to continue his own hero work. While he continued to try and prove himself as a worthy hero in the eyes of Iron Man so he could join the Avengers, Parker had encountered the illegal activities of the Vulture, who was attempting to sell his Jatari based weapons onto a black market. Believing that capturing the Vulture would prove his worth as the hero Spider man, he decided to go out of the vulture alone with only Ned Leeds help. While keeping his secrets from Aunt May, gaining affections of Liz Toombs and trying to win his decathlon finals, eventually Spider-Man had learned that Vulture was Toombs' father and then stopped his robbery of the Stark cargo plane, resulting in Stark offering Peter his place with the Avengers which Peter turned down in order to continue being a small time hero in New York. Now to address the main question of this video, can Spider-Man lift Thor's hammer? We need to understand a bigger aspect, is he worthy? The answer to that question is no, and the reason has nothing to do with his guilt or lack of self-confidence or anything else like that. It must do more with the nature of Thor and Spider-Man's moral code. See, Thor is the Asgardian god of thunder, and only those worthy of his name may wield Mjolnir. What this means is someone who is brave, noble and selfless. These Spider-Man is, but it also means you must be ready to kill. People die in war, and they especially die in war with Vikings. This Spider-Man is not. He will not kill. He will risk his life to save even his enemies. That's how deeply ingrained his opposition to killing is. Spider-Man is not among those comic book characters who have been portrayed as worthy to lift Mjolnir. Though he shares many of the characteristics of those who have been, such as Captain America. I think the primary reason that Spider-Man might not ever lift a hammer is his self-doubt and feelings of guilt over the harm that's been done and that he hasn't been able to atone for, in his mind at least. Technically, Spider-Man should be able to lift it because he possesses almost all the qualities of a worthy person. But what makes him different is that he is not self-confident. Also, he doesn't kill others, even if the situation depends on it. He's so clear about it. This technically means that he may put innocent lives at risk by not killing killing the villain. This makes him unworthy to wield the powers of Mjolnir. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, check out the videos that will be on screen and I'll see you guys in the next video.